Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math lesson. Today is the last day of the school holiday and hopefully you have taken time to recharge your battery because term 3 is going to be one hell of a ride. So today, in this video, I am going to show you how I can predict your numbers when you choose four random numbers and I can predict the total sum of your numbers. So I can predict the sum of your numbers. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so we have a grid of 16 numbers uh, in alphabet uh, in num in uh, order 1 2 3 4 5 5 to 8 1 2 3 4 5 to 8 9 to 12 13 to 16 there's no missing number there so the number is from 1 to 16 your job is to choose four different numbers from that four numbers i am going to predict the total sum of the four numbers you're going to choose but you have to follow some condition before you can do this test Okay, so first thing, you can choose any number in the grid. So the first number you can choose, you can choose any number you want. So for example, if I choose 16, so I am going to put 16 on my piece of paper. Just remember your number so that you're going to add them up later on. Okay, so and this, I'm going to choose 16. So the first number is going to be 16. So far so good. Okay, now you're going to choose your second number. You cannot choose the number that is in the same row or the same same row or same column from the number 16. So all these numbers are excluded. So you have to choose another number, okay? So you can choose any number from 1 to 11, or it can be any number. So in this case, it, the uh, these three, these six numbers are the same row and same column as 16, so you cannot choose 16 anymore, okay? Maybe I want to choose 2 now, okay? Is it possible? Yes, because 2 is not the same row and same column as 16, so the second number is going to be 2. So far, so good. Then we do the third number, the same thing. You cannot choose any number that is the same row or column as 2, and at the same time, it cannot be the same co column and row of 16. So what number can you choose? Maybe I want to choose 11. Is 11 possible? I think it's possible because they are not the same column and row of 2 and 16. So that is your third number. So remember, put down your numbers, your first, second and third, and do the same one for the fourth number. So circle the next one, and I think the only possible is 5. Okay? So now we are going to predict what the value is going to be. So now you are going to put down all your numbers down the four numbers you have done and i want you to calculate the value okay so put your calculator or you can do mentally that'd be great okay if not use your calculator and calculate the four numbers give you five seconds to do it so you add the four numbers so we are doing the sum so the four numbers we're going to add them up together and if i'm not wrong abacadabra the answer is going to be 30 Four. Is that right, gentlemen? I hope it's right because this is what I've seen from the internet and I'm just going to share what I've seen to all of you who have subscribed to my channel and I think it's very interesting and hope to see you soon. Have a good break. Enjoy your last few days of your holiday and see you soon, everyone. And see you. Cheers, everyone.